Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Eddie and this is more Tekken 7. This time we're going to go over martial law. We're going to go over his uh, his launch punishable moves on block. Then we're going to go over strings that we can punish with jabs or we can flash in the middle of. I hope you guys still enjoy this new format and let's get into it. And the first thing we are going to go over this time is Law's somersaults. He has numerous strings that end in somersaults, and I'm going to put the notation on the screen for you guys right now. The only exception to this rule is down forward 334 and down forward 333. Uh, they both end in high, but with the down forward 333 mix up, it's mid low high. But if you get hit by the low, the high actually gels and is a two hit combo which is why I wrote down it's always better for you to block the second low that way you can punish it regardless of the option chosen next up is down 4-3 into the somersault uh, needless to say if you do get counter hit there's nothing you can do about it but if you catch a law doing this you can just get yourself a nice easy down 4-2 or you can hop them if you want to make it personal we got another particular move here we got a dragon tail with the somersault uh, the magic behind this move is that the dragon tail is treated like a snake edge luckily law can't combo off of it but this move does crumple on block and you can get a wall rising 2-1 punish off this bad boy the next move up on this list of somersaults is up forward 3-4 of course the same rules apply if you get counter hit by it that's pretty much going to be the formula behind the somersault kicks if you get counter hit by any of the moves leading up to it there's nothing you can do about it but it just i'm trying to instill that if you block the somersault you can get yourself a launch off of it that's the most important thing to take away from going against these somersaults all the time i'm essentially just slapping all of these different notations for a flip kick in here just so you can see what it's like and try to train yourself against them you ever see like whenever you see their limbs do a certain thing you can train yourself to react to it you know at least that's what I'm at least that's the experiment that I'm trying to work on for this video here and the final move in our repertoire for law will be his dragon uppercut while rising two you can punish that with a nice little uppercut, but this move is done from crouch. Law has a lot of moves from crouch, so I say beware with this move. After this, we're all, we are going to move on to the strings now. The first thing that I want to talk about with Law's strings is that he has machine gun fists, right? Now, he has three different variations of ending these things, and it's like... I, in my humble opinion, I think it's better to just leave these alone and just let him make it with these. Because only one of the three extensions that he can potentially do out of these ends with high. And that risk is just not worth it. At least I don't think it's worth it. And so I say if you see him just spamming these ones and twos, I say just, just whatever. Let him, let him have it. Just keep backdashing. Whatever. <laughs> The next move on this list that I really, really, really want to go over is one, two, three. Anything you do, for the love of God, do not press a button after this move. This move is safe. Please. I implore you. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to everybody. For the love of God, do not press anything. Just backdash after this move. Just block. For the love of God. Next up is three plus four into four. Uh, this is an old school move from Tekken Tag 2 and even Tekken 6, but they added a high extension for comboing. This move is very unwise to do when you're not comboing, but if you catch them slipping, this is how you can make them pay for it. Sorry guys, I seem to have forgot a move that was launch punishable. My bad. Uh, this is down 2-3. Uh, remember that 1-2-3 that I told you that was safe? Uh, this is the move that law players will do after that if they catch you slipping. But if you manage to block this, you get a free launcher off of it as well. Please remember this. Another one of the most important moves in law's uh, move list is the junkyard. Alright, the problem with this move is that it is mid-low mid. We don't want to block this. You want to low parry this low. You want to train yourself. Like you see, you see that elbow come out, you immediately go for it. Please. Like that's that is the best way to go about it. You have to train 
ducking that. You have to train low pairing junk yard into your mindset. Think about it like training for an exam, right? If you manage to low parry, congratulations, you passed. If you let them make it, congratulations, well, you failed, you know. And adding on, your junkyard has a low variant, but that low variant does not matter because we want to low parry that move at all costs, all right? Uh, our next move is back 4-3. Uh, this move is commonly used in combos, but it is mid-high. So typical ducking rules apply here. You just duck and you go for overall rising 2. Plan is Yoshi mid 2. Man, that's awesome. Next up we have Ford, Ford, 4-3. Four, uh, this move is at least negative 14 on block. We can't launch it, but all of Yoshimitsu's punishes apply to the move. So if you do manage to catch this move, it's okay what option you press. It's just that back 2-2 two, two will give you that knockdown that you might be looking for. We have Wall Rising 1-2. This is mid-high, but this is a mix-up with Wall Rising 2. Uh, like I said, you have to be wary with this wall rising moves. If you do see this, once you see that right fist come out of nowhere, that's when you can get hit him with that duck and then you can make him pay for it. Last up on our list we have his 10 hit combo. For the number one, this is at the fifth hit I believe. You can low parry that and you can get a nice little punish. Uh, on the second one, you can do it on the second hit if you don't get counter hit. You can also low parry the fourth hit, I believe. Or no, I'm sorry, the fifth hit, now that I'm looking back at it. And I, that is just about the basics that you need to know for Law. I left his stances out because the stances are really mostly done when he's at a frame advantage anyway. So I did not include those moves. These are just strings and moves that we can punish on block, or if we can catch them whiffing, we can have them make those mistakes. That way we can benefit from it. Sorry, this bit of info got added in after the initial production of this video. So, Yoshimitsu can get a flash on Law's somersault kick. Not the one where he lands on the ground, but with the one that he actually lands on his feet. If you get the actual timing perfect, you can actually get a flash combo off this one. Okay, alright, now I'm out of here. And ladies and gentlemen, this marks the end of my video. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any ways that you can make my next video better, please let me know. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.